Hi, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed all of today's speakers and presentations on ML. This has been such an amazing event, and so I'm really excited to kind of wrap things up today and um, be the concluding speaker. So I'm going to take you through some information about how you can take action and get involved uh, with ML. Um, so I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about my story and giving you some specific examples and steps. Um, so if you can go to the next slide. My name is Carolyn, and I lead a team that helps organizations use ML on Google Cloud Platform. So I come from a slightly different background than some of the other speakers you've heard from. But a lot of my team does work with TensorFlow, along with other Google Cloud products and solutions. So we have a lot of experience working with customers on real world business problems um, in their organizations. And again, I'm hoping that I can share some steps that you can take and some actions that you can take to get involved um, based on my experience. So moving to the next slide, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my personal career journey. Uh, it's definitely not been a linear one, and it's been one that has taken me in directions that I didn't expect. So it's been a bit of a, a squiggly career, but um, just to give you a sense of how I got to where I am today in my role leading a team that does ML on Google Cloud Platform. Uh, when I first graduated from college, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to do something with technology. So I started off as a consultant at Accenture. I wanted to get exposure to many different types of problems and types of companies, and that experience was really, really helpful in doing that for me. So I was able to get experience with clients in the public sector, uh, clients in consumer products, all different industries. And one of the reasons why I joined that company was they have a program called Accenture Development Partnerships. And that's a program that does technology consulting for nonprofit organizations around the world. And so um, one of my goals was to participate and I was able to participate in that program as well. So I did a leadership development program uh, with the government of Tanzania in partnership with the World Bank. And that was a really cool experience um, for me personally and um, one that was kind of uh, the capstone of my experience as a consultant. But after I had spent time traveling the world and working internationally, it was important to me to um, kind of uh, make a change in my own life. And so I was able to uh, relocate to the Bay Area after that experience. And I started getting more exposure to Google and to some of the folks that work at Google. And so uh, I made the, the move to Google in 2011 and uh, started working as a change management program manager. So again, very different role than what I do today, but we were at the beginning of selling Gmail as well as Google Calendar to different organizations. So I helped uh, drive user adoption of those different technologies in big companies. And it was a great role, great opportunity. I learned a lot, but I got a bit bored and I wanted to do something more aligned with my personal mission. So I moved to a role within Google at Google Fiber, and I was focused on creating a workforce development program for fiber optic installers. And so that was a really, really cool opportunity for me. Um, the strategy changed a bit in that organization. And so I found myself looking for a new role at Google. And this was the first time this had happened. And what I decided to do is uh, go back to what had become Google Cloud and try to learn a lot about some of these new technologies they were releasing. And at the time, I was really excited about BigQuery. And I had mentioned to my boss at the time, hey, I'm kind of a wannabe data scientist, right? Not a data scientist by training, but it's something that you know interests me. And it was kind of an off-the-cuff comment. But um, what that led to was there was a lot of demand and interest from our customers in machine learning. And so my boss was someone I had a great relationship with and was always uh, challenging me and trying to find the right opportunities for me. So he basically said, hey, Carolyn, can you go figure this out, right? Figure out how we can do this. And so by partnering with a lot of experienced folks and doing a lot of my own learning, um, I was able to take on roles of increasing responsibility in our consulting business around machine learning. So I moved to a role where I was managing engineers. Then I moved to a role where I was leading the Americas team. And now I have a role globally where I am the lead of the AI analytics COE for Google Cloud. So again, where I'm today, I had no idea I was going to be here when I started my career. And again, it's been a really interesting journey. Um, and I am really passionate about what I do today with ML. So I'm going to give you some specific steps that you can take to get involved as well. So moving on to the next slide. Again, 
I'll give you three ways you can take action and get involved. So I tried to keep it simple. Again, I know you've heard a lot of content today. You've seen a lot of cool stuff. Um, hopefully this will give you some really practical tips um, and steps you can take to get involved with machine learning. So uh, moving on to the step, the next slide. Number one, share your goals. So I think this is really, really critical for you as maybe you're thinking about exploring new areas or really trying to go deeper in machine learning. And I mentioned in my story that I kind of made an off the cuff comment and it actually turned into a whole career, right? That I am very fortunate to have in, in machine learning. And so when I talk to people now about how they can get involved, I think it's very important that you share your goals. And within that, um, you know, a few things that you can do are really to set your intention for machine learning and what you want to do and think about how you want to get involved. So do you want to be a data scientist? Do you want to be an ML engineer? Do you want to be a product manager that maybe uses machine learning in the products that you're building? There are so many opportunities, right? So many ways that you can get involved in ML. So think about what your intention is. And then find growth areas. So identify those places where you need to grow. Try to align it with your intention. And some ways you can do that is really looking at job descriptions. Um, you may want to conduct informational interviews, but there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Um, and then the third step here is really around telling your network. So you really want to tell people what you want to achieve. Ask for advice, ask for support. If people don't know what you're trying to do, then they can't help you. And what I've found throughout my career, again, is if you can be very intentional about it and really let people know uh, where your interests are, you will have uh, more support than you realize to get there and to achieve those goals. So moving on to the next slide, the next step that is really important is to get hands on. And I think you've been hearing a lot of different ways that you can do that today. I know you've seen some really, really cool demos, um, some cool examples. So definitely get hands on. And in terms of how you can do that, a few key steps that you can take. One, just be curious. You know, I think many of you are here today because you're curious, right? You want to learn more. You want to know more. But really set aside time to allow yourself to explore that curiosity. You know, maybe there's online courses or forums or communities or podcasts or books that you want to um, really take some time and understand and explore. And that was something that was really helpful for me. So a few of my uh, colleagues had recommended some great books to start with. And those were things were so helpful in terms of um, allowing me to be curious and feel like I had a much better understanding of uh, machine learning and some of the ways that I could get involved. Um, the next step in terms of getting hands-on is experiment. And again, I think you just saw some great demos, um, some ways that you can use examples of code and edit that, some ways that you can use other resources to really experiment. And you know, this is great because it's a safe space for you to try things out take time. There's no pressure, right? Experiment in a safe environment. And, you know, just a pro tip for folks who are beginners, like I was when I was starting my career in machine learning, is you can start even with low code and no code solutions. There's a lot of great products out there. Um, things like AutoML, um, you know, different APIs that can start to expose you to how machine learning works and how to integrate it in different business processes and different products. Um, and then the Third step here that I identified around getting hands-on is you can also get hands-on and demonstrate your knowledge. So you can do that through things like credentials or certifications or um, competitions. You know, you heard uh, that when mentioned in the previous presentation. So if you move on to the next slide, I have a few examples here, things that you can take a look at. Um, and the first one is the TensorFlow certificate. So some of you may have heard about this, but again, a great way to show your know-how. And there's more than 8,000 certified professionals today. And what's really cool is a lot of employers will also use this uh, to find talent. So it allows you to demonstrate that knowledge and also really um, put you into a really cool network of individuals who are, are passionate and have some skills in this area. If you move on to the next slide as well, there's more ways that you can learn and grow. Um, and, and these are a few things that I've found to be useful. So uh, it's really around um, some of the cloud training and skills boost. So those are some labs that you can use, some learning paths that you can use to get started. Kaggle, which I know was mentioned before. And then there's two certifications in Google Cloud I would encourage you to think about. So one is the uh, cloud digital 
leader uh, certification. And this one is great, especially if you are not um, necessarily an engineer today and you're just getting started, or maybe you are an engineer, but you want to understand the big picture a bit better. Um, the Cloud ML Engineer Certification is also really awesome. So um, another great way for you to show that know-how. And all right, moving on, um, just to get to the very last thing that you can do, the step that you can take to get involved, um, it's really around empowering others. And, and that's why I love events like this one today. It's so great to bring everyone together. And I think when you're trying to empower others, there are a few things that I found to be really useful. The first being tell your story. So your story is so important, your experiences. So share that with others and be visible, start discussions, inspire and motivate. Um, again, you know, my my career is, is what happened to me, sort of, and, and some of the steps I took, but it can be helpful for others as well. Um, I would also say that it's important to share wisdom. And um, oftentimes, you know, you may have some struggles or some mistakes along the way. And my dog is coming back for the finale. Um, so hopefully he will calm down so I can get through this one. But your wisdom and your mistakes are things that can be less than others. And then finally, amplify others' voices as well. So find ways to showcase great work and elevate the achievements of others in your network. Um, so if you can move on to the next slide, there's a few examples here of some great ways that you can empower others and get involved in the community. So you can take what you've learned today and then inspire and uplift others. So there's gonna be a lot of free educational content on the TensorFlow YouTube channel. So please check that out. And you can see there's links for the blog and the forum as well. And then finally, the very last slide here, again, I wanted to leave you with something um, inspiring and motivating. So just remember the power of community can really help amplify our impact. So I would, again, encourage all of you to think about those three steps, take those steps in your career um, so that you can get involved in ML. ML is for everyone, and I would really love for more of you to be involved. Um, I also have my LinkedIn on here so we can stay connected. And again, um, really thank you so much for your time and attention today. Um, I hope it's not too distracting. My dog made an appearance in the presentation, but again, I'm really just happy to have all of you involved. And uh, hopefully you are inspired and can take some action here to help amplify our impact uh, with machine learning. So thank you very much.